Hi, Shira7. I'm back with a topic video this time. This time, I'm going to talk about why it's open season on the black male. Now, I'm going to go in. I'm sorry, I have some hair in my mouth. I'm going to go into um, why I believe that America is now targeting uh, black males. And you see it all over the news. You see stories every day about how they're shot and killed or imprisoned for things that they didn't do and blah, 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 blah. We know the story. And right now, it's not right. I understand that. But I'm going to go into like an esoteric reason and also um, another reason why this is happening. So I'll, I'll go into the esoteric part of it first. Now, this doesn't mean all black men are like this, but um, many of them are. So basically they're being stereotyped and until a group or a large amount of, you know, black males, you know, change and improve for the better, then you will be continue to be stereotyped. Okay, and this is not a male bashing video. This is just an educational video, in my opinion, on the subject, okay? So first off, okay, you, we might not want to face this, but we have to, okay? Out of all of the cultures and all of the races, the black family and the black man treats his family and his mate and his wife the worst. When I mean the worst, I mean they give up too easily. If something is hard, instead of sitting there facing it, they choose to run away from the problem instead of uh, fixing it. They choose to find easier ways to live and then abandon their family. So this has become a stereotype and like every race knows that if they see a black mom with kids somewhere, they just automatically label her single parent because they know most black men leave their families. Now, when black men leave their families, they leave them, you know, without certain things that are that is needed. So then, you know, the government has to step in and help that family to, you know, survive and maintain. You know, they're, they have they have to have food, they have to have clothing. And most of the time when the black man leaves the family, you know, he's not put on child support. And if he is, you know, his job is not high enough paying to, you know, really do anything. So basically the government has to step in and pick up your slack. And they're kind of tired of that. And other races, you know, they might depend on the system a little bit, but not as in, um, not as much and not as publicly as we do, you know. So if you're not a productive member of society and you can't even take care of your own family, then they really don't see a use for you, you know, unless you're in prison working for a corporation for free or you're not around anymore to create more children that will be abandoned. So if you really think about it, you know, if you're not being productive as a citizen, you're kind of a target, you know? Everyone else in society, you know, takes care of their kids. They make sure their wife is happy. They make sure they're happy. And, you know, their attitude is much better about life. You know, if there's something wrong, fix it. If there's something difficult, find a way to, you know, to conquer it. Don't run away from it. You can't run away from your issues. And, you know, when, a, when the woman is mad spiritually, you know, everything suffers from it. You can't please the woman, then you're really just going in a circle. And I'm not saying that because I'm a feminist or whatever. But really, if you think about it, if the woman isn't pleased, you're unhappy, she's unhappy, you're not getting the treatment that you once got before. You're, then your life starts to crumble because you're thinking about leaving. And then, you know, you go out and find another woman. And then she 
wants the same thing that the other woman wanted before. So really, you were like, you know, I should have just stayed with this person. And now you've created more children that you can't take care of because you were looking to get out of a difficult situation when you should have just been looking inside to change yourself in order to improve your situation. So if you're not being productive and you're out there just, you know, causing trouble, making children, leaving families, you're not being productive, and then you create a whole generation of women who don't like you, who bash you, who, um, you know, put this bad stigma around you. You know, I don't want, I don't, you know, I don't want no broke uh, man, or I don't want this, I don't want that. You know, they call you broke because you're not helping them. You know, you might have money, but they're going to call you broke because you're not helping them. And that's what a man is here for, to help women and children. You know, you made the child with the woman, you need to sit there and raise it, you know. And I don't know if, you know, if you can't get along with the woman, that's fine. But you still need to be there on a regular basis to maintain, you know, your status as a parent. And that might be difficult because you don't get along with the person. But y'all need to make peace because the government's tired of taking care of your abandoned kids and wife or lady. So you're not really productive for them unless you're in prison or not here at all. And that's the sad truth. And I'm sorry I have to break it down to you like that, but that's just true. You know, I, I don't like it. And you shouldn't either. You should get up and do something about it. Who wants an unproductive member of society living amongst them who's just causing them more money? You know, it's not for us to change or not change because that's the government. And they're going to do what they want anyway. You know? So, <clears throat> look around you at other races and check out how they take care of their family you know ask them questions how do you get along with your wife so well and how come she's always you know happy they're gonna tell you she's not always happy you know she has issues she's mean to me but I love her and I love my children more than I love you know being out there alone and abandoning them so it's all about if how much of a man you really are you know a man a man will stay and take care of his family you know but an animal or a dog will go and procreate and just walk away and leave and you don't want to be labeled that you know you don't want to be labeled an animal because what do they do to stray animals you know they lock them up or put them down you can't be a stray animal you have to be part of sorry my computer's giving me issues come on uh, you have to be part of a family as a whole you know you have to be you have to belong to something you have to belong to someone you have to have morals you have to have standards when you lose all these morals and standards and you become a stray animal then you know you're no longer needed in society and what do they do they, they send out the dog catcher, okay? And I'm not trying to be mean or anything. It's just true, you know? If you're out there making, you know, babies and leaving families and saying, oh, I can't, I can't take it, I can't take it, you know, then basically you're a stray dog. You're a stray animal. And what do they do to stray animals? They castrate them, take away their ability to want to reproduce, they lock them up in the pound, and then they put them, put them down. Okay? Why? Because they're a nuisance. And I'm not saying black men are nuisances. I'm just saying the ones that act like dogs or stray animals and don't handle their business and, you know, and roam, roam around free, leaving behind litters and puppies and all that, you know, they're not being productive what they're doing is leaving behind something that they can't take care of and then it puts a strain on everyone else so if you're not an animal if you're not a dog then you need to stand up on your two feet 
and be a man because they're exterminating they're they're sending out their dog catchers and they're catching you because you're not being productive members of society there's some black men who are they take care of their family they come home from work every day and you know tell their wife they love them and hug their children and if that wife is mad they figure out how to make her happy they don't just get mad and leave and go to the next chick okay when you make a promise to someone you need to be involved in every step of their happiness okay if 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 someone grew away from how you used to love them then you either need to grow with them or you need to just accept it okay they're not changing people grow so another esoteric reason for the male uh, black male targets is because once the woman is angry the black woman then nothing nothing can thrive nothing can thrive you know look at the weather look at look at the people of today look at the children look at all the women they're they're whores they're sluts they're fighting each other in the street the weather is crazy um like it's mother nature is balanced by the feminine principle and if enough women and females on earth are angry it's going to have an effect on the planet and the earth you know and being um, black women and a majority of a lot of women who are angry it's just bringing lots of chaos into the world you can't you can't please us you can't you can't stay in a relationship with us you can't create a better environment for us we're going to be angry and why do you think on like network television everywhere they're uplifting the black woman and, and pairing them with a white male or you know having interracial interracial couples on television it's because they want to make the black woman happy again you know they want to give her something to smile about you know and she is going to feel empowered and she's going to start lifting herself up taking care of herself and then you, they won't have a need for you anymore you know what i'm saying they're you're going to make the black woman so strong and able to take care of her family herself and others that she's not going to have a use for you so she won't notice or care that you're gone and when you're locked up in prison working for basically for free for a corporation you know when you're dead or you know if you turn gay because a lot of um, things in society are trying to turn black men gay now because they don't want them procreating with women because they can't take care of their kids so if you don't want to be turned gay or castrated or locked up or shot and killed then you need to man up you know we don't need you if you're not doing nothing positive you know i'm just gonna say it straight up you know, I, I'm married to a black man. He's a good member of society. He pleases his family. He goes to work every day. He brings home a paycheck. And he tries to make us happy. And that's what a man is supposed to do. Take care of his family. That doesn't make him less of a man if he wants to please his woman. I mean, that's what he's here for. To work and raise his family. And raise them up. He's not to, here to tear them down. And that's what y'all are doing. Y'all are tearing the family down. You know, without a family, there's no unity. That's why, as a whole, black people can't get along because they're not even used to getting along in, in their family. So it starts with the family. If you can't get along and stay in your own family and make it work, then how are you going to be a good member of society and unite with other people and do something? You can't. You know, you're just a stray animal. Anyway, <clears throat> if this came across mean, I'm sorry. I, I just get emotional. But really, um, you know, I love black men and I, I just want to see them do better. I just want to see them come out from under that stereotype of being losers and bad fathers. And even though the statistics, you know, show that it's not that bad, still, it's still your reputation. You know, get out of that stigma. You know, leave it. 
you know, if you've already left your first girlfriend or wife with kids or whatever, and you decide to go on and start a new family, stay with that family. Okay, don't start a pattern. Don't leave. Stay there. Work it out. Face it. Be a man, you know. Treat it like any other issue in life. You don't run away from issues. You, you fix them. And if you can't fix them, you need to continue to try to figure out how to make them better or at least tolerable. Because if you keep acting like a stray dog, you're going to be treated like one. And that's just it. I mean, we can't blame everything on the black male. Uh, how you treat the black woman is a reflection of everything else. You know, look how other men treat their wives. You don't see a bunch of other races going out, going around doing the things that we're doing because they're not as angry. They're not as upset at their man. You know, they're happy. They're satisfied. So their culture and their children reflect that. Okay. Um, there's a lot of people who are, are different races who are unhappy in their marriages as well, but they don't leave each other. You know, they go to counseling, you know, they, they try other options, you know, but they don't leave, you know. So what I'm getting at is men need to take responsibility for their life. And the other reason that they're targeting like young black males, you know, who haven't even had a chance to procreate yet. It's they're sending a, um, a message that we will kill your children, you know, get it together. If you need to be the protector, the provider, and the man of the house. You don't need to be out walking around looking for other women to uh, treat badly. You know, go out and do something productive that people can be proud of you for. You know, I want to, to say that um, a lot of men have become desensitized. And if they can't please a woman, they just want to hurt her. Because whatever they do is not good enough. Whatever they do is not good enough. So on purpose, they start being rude and bashing and saying, Oh, I don't want to have nothing to do with you anymore. Why? Because they can't please you. When they can't please you, what do they do? They bash you. I think if people just looked inside and asked questions, What can I do to make this right? What can I do to help this situation? Then, you know, we would tell you. You know, it might be something so simple and <laughs> you're just like, oh, that was it? Okay, I'm sorry. You know, like Katy Perry has this video out now uh, called Dark Horse and it's Egyptian themed. And like she has all these guys coming up to her throne, offering her gifts and they're just not satisfying her. And she melts them every time she's disappointed. And at the end... There is a pharaoh that comes and tries to, you know, offer her something. And, you know, she likes what he's offering. But then at the end, he's he's a puppy on the ground, like a lapping dog. Like, I'm all yours. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little puppy to you. And basically, it's saying the male has to please the woman again. And instead of being like a stray dog, he should be like a puppy who's loyal and loving and giving. You know, I'm not saying be a, be a puppy, but <laughs> in alchemy, the puppy also represents the prince or the divine prince. If you look that up. So you should really think about being more productive, you know, whether it be starting a family, staying with your family you know, teaching other men how to cope and deal and just stop being stray dogs. Anyway, this is not for all the black men. There's a lot of great black men out there. This is just for those who go around bashing women, trying to be players and pimps, getting everything pregnant and just leaving them for the government to take care of. Okay? Those are the kind of men that they want to be gone. Um, a lot of people say well, they're starting. To, they're trying to start a race war. Yeah, I, maybe. Yeah. I mean. They won't ever start a race war. Because black people can't unite. <laughs> against anything. <laughs> I 
because the family's broken. So they've been trying to start a race war since the 60s. You know, even Charles Manson said that he was trying to kick off the race war so that black people would rule the earth and he would go hide in a cave and then he would come out of the cave once the black people were ruling the earth and he would be like the only white dude left and they would all look to him to help them to help them fix the chaos that they've created so what he's saying is that black people can't unite they can't accomplish anything together and they're going to be in chaos if they do rule the world so they're going to make a white guy who comes out of a cave their new jesus and messiah to instruct them on how to you know be a society so what that tells me is you know if your family's broken your society is broken if we did rule the world it would fall apart because we have no loyalty <laughs> um there's billionaires there's black billionaires there's black millionaires who could pull together and create this you know united wealth but they don't you know why because the family's broken if you want unity in your own race you have to start with your family that's just it you can't go out on facebook and preach black unity black unity but you didn't left your family <laughs> that's not unity baby that's abandonment okay and the reason the race war will not start is because we kill our own people you know we go out and shoot people because they have on the wrong color shirt i mean why would we get mad because somebody shot someone because they were afraid of them or stand your ground law why should we get mad and and ruin our little good life starting a race war you know it's not going to happen we kill each other too much anyway. The war, we are already in a race war against ourselves. So I'm sorry, y'all. The race war is not going to pop off. You know, y'all see them um, FEMA camps. And they're all getting dusty with tumbleweeds and looking all old and outdated. And they haven't been used because no one's going to start a race war. We're too lazy. We're too content. We have no unity. How can we start a war? <laughs> anyway off my rant off my rant so please be productive members of society stop abandoning your children and your women and figure out how to make it work and fix it because people are now you know targeting stray dogs and even if you're not really a stray dog and you look like a stray dog you you know they're gonna get you they're trying to pop off a race war I believe but it's not gonna happen because we don't care enough okay so a bunch of people are getting ready to get killed probably and no one's going to do anything about it eventually they're going to get the message that it's not going to happen so they're going to try a new technique okay so just get ready they've already got the gay agenda you know they're already cutting welfare and food stamps <laughs> they're already enforcing you to get your own medical insurance so you know they're they're trying to make you responsible people you know, I'm, I'm not for politics or anything, but I see what's happening. And I see that the, they sent the dog catcher out and I see that people need to put a collar and a leash on themselves and go back to their house. Oh, anyway, that's my rant. It's not meant to be bashful. It's only meant to teach and educate and help you become a better man. And when you have better men, you have happy women. When you have happy women, you have happy children. When you have happy children, you have a better society and you have more production and you have more ideas that grow and you have more leadership. Okay? I hope this helped. And if it didn't, I'm sorry. If you take offense to this, then you're probably one of those people that I'm talking about who are targeted. So you need to watch your back. And if you think this message is great pass pass this video along share it comment rate subscribe give me some more ideas give me your feedback i want to hear what you got to say all right